Here we will draw the egg-shaped thalamus. First draw its back end and then its front. We leave it open so that we will be able to label the interior nuclei. Now let's draw the plane of orientation of our drawing. Draw a horizontal line, label the front of it as anterior and the back as posterior. Then draw a vertical line, label the top as medial and the bottom as lateral. Now draw the internal medullary lamina along the anterior posterior axis of the thalamus. Just lateral to the internal medullary lamina, label the lateral nuclear group and show that it connects with the limbic system. Next, wedge a triangle in the anterior thalamus and label it as the anterior nuclear group, which is involved in the important memory circuit, the PAPE circuit. Show that the anterior thalamic nucleus projects to the cingulate gyrus. Then label the ventral nuclear group and the ventral lateral thalamus. It is a widely important relay group. Label the constituents of this group from anterior to posterior. Indicate that the ventral anterior nucleus is involved in motor skills and receives projections from the basal ganglia. Then that the ventral lateral nucleus is involved in coordination and receives afferent information from the contralateral cerebellum. And finally that the ventral posterior nucleus projects to the primary somatosensory area. Indicate the ventral posterior medial nucleus encodes input from the face and that the ventral posterior lateral nucleus encodes input from the body. The sensory information in the thalamus has a very specific onion peel somatosensory map in which the fist is adjacent to the mouth. Patients with a ventral posterior medial stroke present with chiro-oral syndrome. On the side opposite the damaged thalamus, they have impaired sensation around the mouth and in the fist. Now draw the medial geniculate body and show that it is a part of the auditory system. It receives auditory information from the inferior colliculus and projects to the transverse gyri of Heschel in the insular cortex. Next draw the lateral geniculate body and show that it is involved in the visual system. Visual information from the optic tract relays in the lateral geniculate body and projects to the primary visual cortex in the posterior occipital lobe. In the posterior third of the thalamus show the pulvinar, which is a subcategory of the lateral nuclear group. Indicate that it connects with the visual attention system in the pretectal nucleus and the cortical visual system in the temporal parietal association areas. Ventral and posterior to the thalamus itself label the posterior thalamic nuclear group. It comprises a widespread conglomeration of nuclei. Here we will only draw one tiny nucleus, the posterior nucleus, which attaches to the posterior tip of the thalamus. Show that it projects to the secondary somatosensory cortex and the inferior parietal lobe, which is involved in cortical processing of pain and temperature sensation. On the medial aspect of the thalamus, label the medial nuclear group which largely consists of the dorsal medial nucleus. Show that the medial nuclear group connects the limbic centers to the frontal lobe. It has afferent connections from the amygdala, hippocampus, and basal forebrain, and efferent connections to the prefrontal, premotor, and frontal eye field regions of the frontal lobe. Now show the internal medullary lamina itself contains the intralaminar group. Indicate that it has widespread inputs and outputs involved in the maintenance of arousal. Next draw the midline nuclear group along the ventral medial portion of the thalamus in the midline of the central nervous system. It is involved in visceral function just as is its neighbor, the hypothalamus. Lastly, write out that the thalamic reticular nucleus forms a shell around the thalamus and indicate that it is a diffuse modulatory nucleus that communicates widely with the thalamus and cerebral cortex. If we were to draw the thalamic reticular nucleus, we would obstruct the view of the rest of the thalamus. This concludes our drawing of the thalamus.